Hi guys, welcome back to Charlotte's Boilage. I am getting ready to pot up a alocasia. This was taken from another plant. Usually this time of the year, we don't recommend that you um, repot your plants because they go through a period of dormancy. Excuse me, I'm fixing my camera. Um, but because this plant has rooted, it's okay. It's, it's, it's time to get her in some soil if I'm gonna put her in some soil. Let me show you her roots here. She's really, oh, I might not even be able to get her out of here. I gotta pull her. But as you can see right here, all those are roots. Let me stand back a little bit so I can focus more. Look at all those roots. So I had to try to pull her out of here gently. She's almost stuck in there. I might have to cut this container. I hope I don't. I'm gonna try to pull it on the bottom of it. But anyway, anyway, this is what I'm doing today. There she goes. See, look at her roots. So I wanted to share you guys, excuse me, share with you guys. Um, I'm using a new product, it's called Ponds. And it's just another way that you can plant your uh, plants in. It's another soil medium. And um, I'm gonna try it with a little bit of soil and see how it does. Um, but that is my goal today, is just to pot up this plant. So I have my soil mixture here, and I have a little pot that I'm gonna put her in. So uh, let's just get started um, repotting her. So first, um, I'm gonna put a little soil here in the pot. I'm gonna use my little scooper here. And you, what you wanna do is you wanna put one third soil in here. And then you can put your, whatever other mediums you're gonna use. There is a, um, this is not a very good thing to use for my scooper. There is a um, perlite already in the soil mixture. I've already prepared this soil mixture and perlite helps with drainage. Okay, so now I have one third soil mixture in there. Now I'm gonna place the plant in here and try to center it. And then I'm gonna go in here and put the ponds in here. And this ponds came in a neat bag. You just kind of, it has a slit in the front of it. So it makes it easy for pouring. Although I'm trying to use two hands, so bear with me. I'm gonna try to get it in here. without making too big of a mess. I think I'll pour it on the salsa first, and then I'll try to put it in the pot. Okay. I'll start with a little bit. So I'm just pouring it in there. And um, I'm gonna get some gloves right quick. One moment. So I got a pair of gloves here, just one glove rather, because I'll try to make sure I don't touch too much of the chemicals at the doctor's request. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna put this pond in here. And it's actually pretty, it's kind of green and brown chunks. Looks like rocks. And um, it's time for some more. I'm just gonna pour some more on, the, on this plate. We almost got her full here. She's standing up now. Alocasia's love. Stand up because they grow pretty tall. 
I have a huge one in my backyard, um, and I filmed it recently, and they do really well, and they do go dormant, but we put ours in our garage, and um, so it's able to still get light. So this is what I'm doing here. I want to show you what the outcome is. It looks good. Here's the ponds, and then here's the plant. The plant is upright now, so that's what you want. You want your plant to sit upright, like I want this camera to sit upright. And there you have it. All I did was put her in some water, and then I um, let her roots grow and develop, and now she's ready for her own little pot. So I just wanted to share that experience with you guys and let you take a look at it. This pot I would love to put it in, but it doesn't have a drainage hole. This orange pot planter here. And so I'm gonna have to have my husband put some drainage holes in there. And that way I could use her. But I just wanted to share that experience with you guys and let you know that this time of the year is when plants um, are coming inside and you got going to get ready for winter. Uh, some of the plants are getting a little bit too cool. So the best advice that I can give you is to make sure you um, don't bring bugs in the house. You can use some neem oil or alcohol on your plants mixed with water. I brought this plant in today. This is my Sansevieria, and it's been outdoors for all summer. And it's grown, but I did leave it by itself. As you can see, it's sitting here by itself in my um, walkway. And um, I put some alcohol and water on it. I treated it with neem oil before I brought it in because you don't wanna put bugs on your other plants, so you isolate it. You also don't want to uh, bring bugs in your home. So that is the purpose of that. So again, uh, it's time to bring those plants in. Even though you've enjoyed them on your deck and your porches, uh, the weather is getting cool. So you want to make sure you bring your plants in before the frost. Um, I've been rattling long enough on and on. So just want to say happy Saturday. Thanks for watching. Continue to subscribe and share. Tell your friends about my channel. Thanks. Bye.